Hey, how's it going, everybody? For today's video, we're coming back with another episode of Budget Bees. Now, sorry that it took a little bit of time to get around to the next episode. That won't be happening in the future. But on the main account, we just had so much content to get to between debuts, all the new cards. You saw what happened, even with BR, because you guys seem to love Battle Royale. But with Budget Beast, we do have one new face. And again, very soon, you'll see a complete makeover as tonight and maybe even tomorrow we'll be getting a bunch of team affinities but for right now we got byron buxton in center now the reason i went for byron buxton for this video as our number one team affinity to get is there really isn't a budget b center fielder look at his stats he's got 99 speed great fielding so you got a guy who can make up for the lack of defense that we currently have in right and left and those hitting stats you can throw those out the window you know why he plays well above his stats the reason why he plays well above his stats is his swing his swing generates a crazy amount of exit velocity and because it's a good swing you seem to be on time a lot more at least for me and it seems that way for a lot of people in the comment section let me know which budget beast team affinities you think we need to go and get whether it's correa mr titties jr matt olson's uh team affinity diamond again let me know i know in right field we'll be trying to get that curtis granderson here nothing but great things about him in left we'll definitely be getting juan soto because he so again just let me know in that comment section but for today's video our two new faces byron buxton in center and matt olson over at first base so the way we're looking right now still a little rough defensively in the outfit we got meadows we got byron buxton to make up for hopefully that lack of defense we got adam dunn in left who actually isn't terrible he's not the worst fielder look at meadows though it's a little bit different because at least adam dunn comes with a cannon we got suarez over at third correa at short glaber torres For whatever reason i hit really well with his gold card haven't really gotten to do too hot yet with his diamonds hopefully we're able to turn that around here soon especially when we get him on the budget beast matt olsen is over at first base and harry sanchez we don't need a budget beast catcher we've already found him this man is too good when it comes to the pitching side of things also let me know in that comment section if there is any really good team affinity pitchers that we should go after or even on the market if they're under 5,000. right now that is our threshold 5k or under that's what we're looking for as a budget beast it shouldn't come as a surprise byron buxton will be our leadoff hitter then we got suarez matt olsen gary sanchez mr meadows a glaber adam dunn and we got correa hitting all the way in the eighth spot i think we're two and oh on this account maybe even more yeah we're 2-0 rated 128 let's go ahead and get right on into it now i'm gonna be real i don't know if we're gonna make world series the first time around on this account we're definitely pretty far behind a lot more behind than i really would hope maybe we do some streams to try and catch that up let me know if you guys would like to see streams of us trying to catch back up with the budget beast try and get to world series our opponent for today is going to be big vic 12 victor he's got an interesting team to be honest he's got oh that's right we're also going to get cargo now who would you guys like to see as a combination juan soto and curtis granderson or carlos gonzalez and right field with juan soto or even granderson let me know because we're gonna hit an interesting spot i did just hit 10 bronze on this account and i think car goes an absolute stud he's got the defense he's got the great swing he does it all so the reason why blake snell is a budget beast is because right now he is a little glitchy he is a little wonky everything comes out of his hand it just doesn't look right 2-1 we're gonna bring the gas inside great pitch he's ready for it he's gonna roll it over to first and that is why i really want that matt olson diamond over at first great defense defense especially on a budget beast team it, it is invaluable you could get a lot of players that have a great bat but are ass defensively and with how bad our pitching is gonna be because again they're budget beasts the defense makes them look that much better he's got jerks in pro far we're gonna throw a slider over the heart of the plate but that's gonna be a routine grounder to correa two down first pitch to murray yes oh we locked him up it's gonna bleed on in though that's gonna be a single into right still two down one two we're bearing a change up with our controller still spazzing the hell out yes! byron buxton byron a ton that a boy perfect perfect grounder 104 he's even gonna get you some good exit velocities exit velocities you wouldn't see from a card that low which is why again he'll hit you some tanks and we're gonna roll that over thankfully find a hole first and second nobody out matt olsen's gonna rip it that is gonna get into the gap are we gonna be able to turn this into a double we should easily be able to do that that's not the best animation he sits behind that ball second and third one run in still nobody out Gary Sanchez is going to scream it right to the shortstop. But it is going to get the job done as we do it and get another run in 2-0. Austin Meadows is also going to rip it into the gap. There's going to be another run coming in. So we got another double. 3-0. Austin Meadows delivering it. 
Glade by. Oh, that's going to be a perfect, perfect two. But that's over 10. Dude, the base running this year. Absolutely bananas. We only get a single off of that. We also only advance to third. Hopefully, though, it doesn't come back to haunt us. Adam Dunn, we need an absolute nuke. Is that going to do the job, dude? We're hitting the ball hard. We're just not getting it to leave the park. But again, gets the job done. We're going into actually four to zero the score. Mr. Cray, did he get all of it? That is right where you want it. Good, good. At the top of the PCI, and it is gone. Six to zero the score. We have now officially just about to bat through the lineup. Blake Snell, if you could get a hit, that would be dope. And Blake Snell's not going to be able to do that. We're going to hit a weak. Roller over to second base. But again, a six run first. I'm going to take that. Blake, can you give us another scoreless inning? And again, out of curiosity, who have been your guys' favorite budget beasts? Whether they're team affinities, whether they're cars under 5K. I'm all ears because I'm interested. I want to get this account to World Series. Show you guys how you don't really need to either spend money or have that great of a team. As long as you got the skill, you can make World Series pretty easy. O2, bury the changeup. Last time he swung. We've thrown a lot of strikes in the zone, so we're going to get him. To get we're going to make him make an adjustment. Change up in the dirt again. Although it hung on us, we're going to easily get another out. A one, two, three inning. Let's go ahead. Let's get some more runs. Maybe bat through the lineup again. Did he leave? Why is it frozen? What's going on? Coach? Coach, what happened? What's going on? All right, I'm assuming he just slammed his PS4 through the wall. That's, that's the only logical explanation. We get a win. You know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to get another one in. Hopefully a couple more innings into this one. Let's get on into game number two. All right. Our next opponent for game number two is going to be DJ Oren. He's got a budget beast team of his own. He's got Springer in center. Juan Soto, Stanton. Actually, I am curious. Their prices could have come down. So we, although then again, we're going to get the team affinity version of Soto. We're obviously going to get Gallo. I know you guys want to see Gallo. I know that one. I didn't mention him earlier, but I promise you, we will get Gallo. One, two, we're going to challenge him. Get the sinker in. Oh, God. Ah! Juan Soto, I don't care if it's his gold, but I mean, it, especially if it's team affinity. Blow bomb! But either way, whether it's his gold or team affinity, Juan Soto swing and what people do with him against me. Dude, it hurts. Two on the count to Soto. We need to get kind of a... Oh, that's going to be a dirty curveball. But he's going to... He was going to hit it into the shift. We would have been happy. We would have had an out. But... To guard the goalie. You know what? Don't you? Oh, well. Oh, oh I thought we had it. Okay, right, go on Buxton. Go on Buxton. He's got a hose. I wish you went. I wanted to show him off. That's not good. Yeah. Although, oh, can we make a catch on this? I don't know who our left fielder is. He's not going to be able to do that. But we may be seeing some oopsies on the base pass. He's going to have to go home. And that is what he's going to. Oh. I thought we we're about to glitch through him. Don't know what you're doing on the base pass. Who knows if it was him or the game? You never know, but I'll take it. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Come on, good sinkers. Good pitch. We get ourselves out of the jam again. As long as we hit our spots, opponent is going to be... He's going to score a little bit, I can tell, but he's not going to score a lot. The moment we start making mistakes like we did a lot that inning, rallies are going to happen. The gold oral actually might be a really good addition to the team. As that was a terrible swing, but he's dirty. Actually, we need to get the gold oral. Got that fastball up. We were ready for it, but we didn't get the PCI there. That is going to be a routine fly to short. One down. Suarez, that's got to be gone. A no doubt shot into right center. Let's go. One to zero the score. Matt Olson, we're going to play a little bit. We're going to beat this shift. Kind of. We're going to hit it through it, but on the left side. Gary, that's got to be gone up and in gas cheese, and we're all over it. Really? Gary Sanchez is apparently weak. 92 fastball all over at 96. Okay. And that one is not going to do the job. All right. So we're all over with Gary. Couldn't catch a break on the exit velocity. We're going to have to do some praying to the exit velocity gods probably here this game. 2-2 two, two inside guess. Oh, is it going to bleed on in there? Our left fielder. I don't remember who you are. Terrible fielder, though. Makes the play one down. Should be a good curveball by Cinder. God, great pitch. Oh, well. Like I said, defense is important. Can't wait to boost up this team, Glaber. Dumb ass Glaber, man. Oh, uh, and here we go. Defense wins championships. Also will win you a baseball games on MLB The Show. I promise you. One, two to the dirty oral. And that's not good. I'll get this thing right where I want it. Dirty. Bye. 
Glaber, that is not going to be going deep, but is it going to be a double? His right fielder is going to be able to cut it off, but at least we got a man on first. And I'm done. Don't be a double play. Oh, my. This game's going great. We're having fun. I, I will be honest. We got to find a way to, like, when stupid stuff like that happens, let it go. Because after it does, inning over. And it and it did again. Just please don't swing. Oh, he... Ooh, are we gonna be able to catch this or I feel like we're gonna be there and we're not gonna make the catch So easy, buddy Just stick up the glove It was not even it, it was row one there, chief All right, I think I've learned something We're never playing at Angel Stadium again Exit velocities are mad annoying And that right there also That's frustrating, but there's one down That is an unfortunate Blah, blah. Three, one, challenge him Right down the middle. Yeah, there we go. Line out into the shift. Let's go. Did he? I don't know what the hell just happened. I'm assuming he made the catch, but there's some weird animation, at least on my end, that it looked like. Syndergaard, get it started with the base hit. You're scoring. Syndergaard. Oh. Anybody else were going deep with that? But it is a pitcher, so a line out to center. One down. Byron Buxton. Did he get all of it? I think that's going to die right at the wall. And that is exactly going to be the case. But again, for I think he's got like, what, 60 power. He could definitely get into one. We just missed it. Suarez, there we go. Another base hit to the right side. So with two outs, can we get a two-out rally going? Matt Olson, that is ripped. Tell me that's going to be up enough. Get up, ball. Actually, I don't even know if we could go to second on that. Thank God he threw it home. If he threw it to second, we are hosed. Another base hit scores two. On a 2-2 two -two count, they, I read the cutter. It just A, good spot. B, clearly didn't keep our way back enough. We keep knocking on the door. Some unfortunate things. We're going into the four, still tied. There's going to be an inning, though, where we blow it open. Coincidentally, keep forgetting to take off this shift on my mans. He ain't going to beat us. He ain't going to turn on a fastball. The only time he ever did is what? What? It, what? what is happening now i'm not complaining i'm not complaining case in point throw a sinker inside he is not going to turn on it two down two on the everyday four seam gas thank you i had to show that pitch six times so we'll go back to mixing it in but he's still going to see the fastball inside a lot three one the count to his pitcher we're just going to throw fastballs down the middle highly now he gets the bat off his shoulder oh oh okay he proved me wrong but well you know what we're still pretty much throwing it down the middle but a lot of wiggle room to miss i was gonna say oral ain't gonna beat us so that is gonna be the third out of the inning we're now back down by one we're constantly knocking on the door is this gonna be the inning we can finally somebody goes deep the runners get on no line out double plays no stupid uh, okay we I saw it just go up the middle, so I thought maybe for a second we're going to hit it. A line drive right to the second baseman. Dude, what is he doing? What is going on with this guy? Oh, Glaber, we rolled it. All right. Please, Don, tell me you got all that. That one is smoked. We finally, for a good, good, perfect, perfect, good squared, we finally go deep. Two to two. Correa gets into one. There we go. Now the rewards are coming on in. 110 off Correa's bat. That was an absolute blast. Three to two. Oh, well, we rolled that one. That's for sure. Out in front with Syndergaard, but thankfully, we do get the lead. So we do end up scoring in the fourth off two solo shots, but he's got the top of his lineup up. Are we going to be able to keep him silent? Are we going to be able to throw off speeds for strikes? Oh, two dirty sink cheese. Here we go. That's not good. Oh, that's that. It's, it's, it's uh, a dirty slider down the middle. Yeah! Sinker up and in, freeze him. Yeah! All right, he's definitely gambling sinkers in, and we're going to throw him a slider in. All right, Rogers. Uh, the, the people I brought you in for it, I mean, you did get a strikeout. But then right there, he did that. All right, not good. Not good. And we're going to face Suarez now. Oh, this is. And yeah, we're going to have to. Oh, whoa. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this, buddy. Come on. Yeah. All right. Fuck a ton. It is your time to shine. We're getting you on base. And even if it's a single. Oh, come on. Beat him over to the right side. No. Suarez. That was a high and fast, but we turned and burned. Good squared. There we go. 
At least he's not like Gary Sanchez. He at least gets it into the triple digits for exit velos. A solo shot yet again. And here comes Matt Olsen. Hopefully soon they can fix this home run thing. Because I hate pausing the game after every single solo shot. Matt Olsen. There we go. That one smoked. 105. Let's go. Got to get angry a little bit. We'll get ourselves a base hit. Man on first. Can we capitalize yet again? Can we get a two run shot? Austin Meadows drives it. We even power swung on that good squared 102. There we go. There's the power we're looking for. That's why we have a pretty heavy power lineup. 62 the score. Keep squaring it up. That's going to bring up Glaber. Come on, buddy. Gerber, baby Glaber. Did we just miss that? Or is it still going to carry? It is not. We just missed it. But we're at least finally getting some runs across the score. We're leading right now by four. We get another quiet inning. We are still with the bullpen. Who's he got up? He's got a lefty, so Roger's going to stay in for at least one more batter. Let's go ahead and actually give him that sinker inside that he was looking for. Blow by! I'm going to be honest. What are you looking for that you took that? But, hey, I'm not complaining. You bail me out. Oh, two dirty sliders. Yeah! Roger's out here looking filthy. He's actually dealing a little bit. He's just hard as balls to control. But he's at least got cat-like cat reflexes off the mound. Two down. And Mr. Titties jr has absolutely torched us he i mean he makes me want him for budget beast but do we want correa do we want tatis again let me know in that comment section who should our shortstop be I think on the main account i mean we definitely don't have uh we definitely don't have tatis so i think it should only make sense that we go for tatis on the budget beast see which one's better a one one go with that sinker there we go hit that spot great pitch one two. Oh, that's not good yeah tatis is uh he's making it hurt today O2 back foot slider. Yeah. Adam Dunn is going to smoke it and Rizzo. Oh my God. I thought we were easily going to get it through. But there's one down. And there is a line drive. There we go. Again. Oh, what? George Springer looking a little rough. Hopefully he one day comes a budget beast at least here shortly because he would actually be a really good center fielder. Plays well above his stats. Has a good swing. They boosted his fielding, which is also huge. We got to go to our bench and we got Nelson Cruz 109 power versus left. The Cruz missile, can it go outbound? No, no, it was a check swing. Why is it every year I can't check swing to save my life? Come on, bring the heat. Oh, that's right, you throw slow. That's right. I'm so used to every goose I've ever seen throw gas. My man's can't even hit 95. 92 on your four seam. At a boy. That's why you're here, baby. You're here to throw cookies. That's right. Forgot about that. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Glaber. I mean, the slowest turn I've ever seen in my life, but the double play still happens. Two down. Throw so slow. It works. Oh, yeah. It works. One, two, three inning with the double play. Let's go ahead. We need to extend our lead. Four runs is not comfortable in the slightest. Top of the lineup, Byron. I think you're 0 for 3. It's not really your fault. You've hit the ball hard a lot. Let's get one. Let's get you on. Byron, there we go at a boy. Line drive back up the middle. 99 speed. Yeah, we're going to display. We're going to be stealing here within at least hopefully a pitch or two. Oh, he's got a great jump. Yeah, we take all the way. Even though it's a fastball up in the zone. I mean, look at this. 99 speed. Good luck. He was already at the bag by the time the ball was just passing the pitcher. Suarez at a baby, dude. If he ever gets a player of the month card, uh, just any version that's better, especially with defensively. Oh, he's making the team. I, even on the God Squad, he's making that team. Matt Olson, that a boy. I mean, it ain't going to be gone. And that is, again, great exit velocity for a guy with power. But we are at least going to get a run on in. He does his job. Sack fly 7-2. to two. Gary Sanchez is going to scream it to the left side. Get a little bit more underneath it. We got ourselves the tank, but first and second, still one down. We got it. One inning. Can we avoid a double play, please? Oh, what did we miss? Okay, we did miss. We did miss. Austin Meadows is just as good against lefties as he is with righties. But again, just missed a routine fly to left. Two down. Well, that is an inning of just misses. We at least do get one. This game, we have definitely slowed down the offensive production. We've definitely slowed down the uh, exit velos, too. That should be a good slurve. Oh, no. Well, we jammed him with the slurve. Low it in. He's going to be able to beat this shift. Bury the changeup. Don't hang him. Bury it. Die! 
Come on, sinker away. That a boy. Good pitch. You know what? Good pitch. Great hit. If we're going to be able to get this ball in, Buxton is going to be able to get it first. And what is my... What are you doing? This guy's base running is worse. I've never seen worse base running in my life. I didn't think it could have been done. I'm going to be honest. And okay, again with that. But I'm going to be honest. I didn't think it could be done. Somebody is a worse base runner than me. Congratulations, my dude. That is... I'm so happy that award is not mine anymore. Carlos Correa. All right, we're just swinging reckless. Screw it. We're probably going to have a one, two, three inning. Uh, you know what? Maybe that's why I shouldn't be power swinging. With all the more reason of the good OKs not making the most sense, you probably wanted to get the PCI as big as possible to give the game the least amount of opportunity to pull it off. But either way, we're going to go to Pagan in the top of the ninth. We got ourselves a five-run lead. There should be plenty for you, right, buddy? Bring the gas low and in. Dirty pitch. God. Bury the curveball. Bury it. Yeah. Fastball low and in last time he crushed it. Not city. Yeah. So we end up winning that game in a very close fashion. Even though it was seven to two, he did have a lot of hits. Surprisingly, low, surprisingly though, yet again, the exit velocities. Like I said, I have a feel, I swear to God at Angel Stadium, they are so much worse than usual. But Suarez at least four for four, two tanks. Meadows two for four, a two run shot. Correa two for four, a solo shot. And Dunn one for four with an absolute nuke into center for a solo shot so again just to reiterate in that comment section which team affinities should we go for on budget beast let me know i am paying attention but thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you